Okay, so I stopped out at the barn today. I was going to spread a little bit of black dirt um, on the side of the barn uh, where the entry door is, where I'm working on that landscaping. So I see that Rich and Ron showed up to take down some trees. It looks like what they do with that uh, big machine is just pretty much just push those trees over and then they limb them off and then uh, I think they haul them away. They got a big chipper. Hopefully they're going to dig up that electric line too and uh, we'll see once uh, if we can't get power back to the barn. Okay, so Rich was digging to trench in the electric line and uh, he hit the water line. That's not a big deal because I was planning on him hitting that anyway. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but um, that water line runs you know, pretty much right through where the house is going to sit. And uh, so it was going to need to be replaced anyway. So actually I'm glad he hit it now because now what I can do is I'll just peel that out of the ground and then reconnect the two pieces uh, temporarily and uh, blow them out in the winter time. And then in the spring, hook it up again, start using the water throughout the build of the house. So he's just going to go a little bit shallower now, uh, so he doesn't hit that water line again, and we end up with a bunch of pieces. He's almost to that temporary pole right there, so we, we should be good to go. It's pretty crazy how these guys take the trees down. Actually, they use that big scoop, and they just push those things down. Now this tree's a little bit bigger, so what he's going to do is uh, dig next to it, uh, disrupt the roots a little bit, and then he'll be able to uh, to be able to push it down. I'm a little bit winded right now, just because I've been digging digging up this water line a little bit, um, just to peel it out of the ground so I can splice the two ends together. Now that's how you tip over a tree.